Hey, a big shout to uh, my friend Gorka Portero. And um, uh, they asked me the other day how, what's my favorite environment for running, you know, for testing on C++ and learning C, C++. Um, I told him the best thing to do nowadays uh, after passing, spending like 20, 10 years dual booting my computers on Linux and uh, and Windows, the best thing to do is first download uh, Oracle, uh, VirtualBox, uh, Windows, Hosts, right, and and install it. Uh, I have it installed on my machine. Uh, it's here. When you open, it's like that. Um, the second thing you do, you go. Let me just stop this because I've I've done this. You download Kubuntu. Why Kubuntu? Because it's very stable. I prefer the, the KDE environment. So Kubuntu is KDE plus uh, Ubuntu, the operating system. I prefer KDE to, and KDE is the, is the windowing uh, system. I prefer that to Ubuntu, which has GNOME as the main, uh, uh, as a the, the windowing system. So we download Kubuntu uh, 18.10 if you if you want to be on the edge and you download Kubuntu 18 LTS. This one will give you more time so you don't need to be upgrading. It's not that the process of upgrading say from uh, 16.04 to 18 is, is very hard but uh, this will give more time all right, so then uh, once you download, you have this, and you create a new virtual machine. Um, then it's set, let's say, once you do Kubuntu, it automatically puts Ubuntu here, so it doesn't does know. If you have uh, 16 gigabytes, I would use at least four. If you have eight gigabytes, I would use uh, two gigabytes of memory uh, create uh, a virtual hard disk now now here I would leave at least um, 30 gigabytes for the main operating system then you install this and uh, later on you add a new um, a new um, hard drive for your home your projects um, I would leave this dynamically allocated. It's a bit slower, but um, it will not fill up your your hard drive at once. It was it just when uh, you start using more more data, it will increase the file size. Right? Um, guided mode means uh, it's 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 just a, a wizard, right? So you create. And um, in the end, uh, you go through this, uh, it creates a, a virtual machine, I and you are going to see this, right, an entry, left side. Then you go to settings. What I usually do is I go to system. If I didn't set, I can, I have another chance to set the, the, the parameters for base memory and processor. Um, and also, Uh, what I like to do is enable these extended features, right, and enable uh, IO APIC and don't enable EFI, right. Uh, for the display, uh, everything should be disabled. Uh, the screen, I would put just a little more video memory, it's scaling 100%. Now for the storage, that's where uh, you see here, I have one home and this is my original disk that I created with the, uh, with the wizard. So 
and I created this later you see has uh, 104 gigabytes and the original one is just 20 gigabytes right so you add you create a new disk later no you do, don't need to create this now but if you want to create this now you can attach it it's fine uh, one thing that I do is shared folders so I share you just click in here and you go to downloads give a folder name and auto mount and this way I have access to my downloads from inside the uh, from inside the virtual machine uh, and then other than that I think that's all oh when you are uh, just about to boot you have to go to storage and the controller ID um, here right so you add a new CD-ROM there will be a, a window and that window you select exactly this uh, this this download here so you point to this ISO file what's gonna happen is when Ubuntu boots it will look into this this hard drive the hard drive will be empty so it will jump to the second option which is the the CD-ROM and the CD-ROM will have uh, this uh, all the operating system installed in the, the CD right so it's gonna boot and install it um, if you the operating system itself you can go to YouTube it has many tutorials there install Kubuntu 18.04 you know it's a, it has a several um, tutorials in there uh, some are good you know that's a very detailed right once that's done then it's probably going to reboot and then you start again This is my virtual machine. That's it. The first thing you should do on a virtual machine is install build essential yeah so this uh, is saying that's that's locked because uh, probably there is a uh, another process running yeah so it's, it's running unattended upgrade yeah so there is a process that locks in locked in still running unattended upgrade see it's doing updates let's see yeah there you go So uh, the the installer for Kubuntu is apt and still all right. So one thing that uh, you notice that sudo on my machine doesn't doesn't um, ask for a password. That's because I did the 
I did the modification. You add this line, and then uh, then it doesn't ask. This is the default, for example, on Amazon. So you do. Oh, uh, I think it finished. So if you want uh, sudo to work without password, then just add this line here. In the end of uh, etc sudoers, right? So <coughs> I think I installed Portuguese as the the main main language. So apt uh, build essential basically is a virtual package that's going to install GCC and uh, the linker and everything else headers. Um, and other thing it you should install is say make. It's already installed. Uh, one thing I do is uh, once you have everything configured, you you create a new disk. You attach the new disk and to the machine, like I did here. See, this is a new disk. Then. What you do is you edit. Let's start in, in root mode here. Edit FS tab, and you see here this is the new disk, and you you install it as home, right? And this <coughs> this ID you get from. So it's the the ID of the disk plus the on where you uh, you, you want to uh, install it, and then ext4 defaults and so on, and install it by. Uh, let's see. So that's your home. I would initially mount it with uh, as another name, and then copy the home directory. Okay, and that's it. Uh, then, what to do? But you don't need to do it. You know, it's, it's just for testing. Uh, it's just because um, I, when I want to have more. Uh, let's see here. It has uh, 108 gigabytes, and my root I have only. Uh, this is 21 gigabytes. So I keep my data and my operating system separated. This means uh, if I need, for example, if it comes like Ubuntu 20 and I can't do uh, an upgrade, and by the way, upgrade, you do you do this, do release upgrade. If you run this, right now there is no release, but if there is a Ubuntu 20, Kubuntu 20, then this is going to start the process of uh, upgrading. I did this for several times since Kubuntu 10 on this, uh, on this machine, but then by 18 it failed so um, <coughs> good thing that I had uh, my root and my home separated so I just reinstalled um, a fresh uh, 1804 and then I just attached my home and that's it I just I could just work again uh, usually um, I have a test folder is a bunch of tests. Xilinx, Clang, ZPU. So, what I do here is um, I just created a directory. Uh, let's see. CMake tests. I do CMake tests. It's empty. Then. Uh, other thing I do is um, I'm a Max user, so I install Emax. Uh, Emax is already installed. If you want to install it, let's see. Alright, so it's already installed. Um, what you have to do is to create a CMake list txt. There we go. Then I always forget this. So if you don't 
remember what is your I think that's it it's, uh, it's, it's because we don't do this too often I don't remember exactly but it's uh, uh, make list it's the example there is always example there all right so it's a project uh, first project uh, then I do make minimum required version uh, 2.8 is usually the basics of CMake. Uh, then <coughs> add executable. Let's say uh, hello world, hello world, hello world CPP, and then. I think that's going to do it, actually. Alright. So do this. Then you have a CMake list. Uh, no, let's do two. Then what I want to do is let's open a new file. Hello old CPP. I see int main and go SDC out hello world. And by the way, you should just always use this instead of this. STD end line is it triggers a ton of synchronization and it makes your program slower, so you always use that. So and return zero. That's the minimum. So let's compile. To compile, so we have CMake list and here reload hello world. What you can wha what I usually do, I create a <coughs> usually a go to temp and I create a build directory, CD build, then I do CMake and I point to test, see make tests, right? I start detecting the, 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 the compiler and it creates all the C makes you see the make file. Then I can do just do make linking. Now I have hello I execute hello world. That's it. So that's this is the bare mi minimum. If you want to add uh, libraries then create libraries and linking it to libraries then you start extending the CMake list all right so this is the bare minimum to run a C C++ the bare minimum uh, environment to build it uh, usually in when I'm even when I'm writing a production code you know at work I use this combination of CMake Emacs and shell some people like to use uh, some tools like kitty creator oh. I like kitty creator some people use oh boy that's a lot of uh, packages 500 megabytes it's gonna take a while some people use uh, Eclipse I'm not a big fan of Eclipse it's uh, sort of slow um other people use uh, VI with shell problem with VI is uh, the navigation you have to keep several shells open but you know it's not a big problem if you have something like uh, console which is the default console on um, on KD you can do you just shift and arrow you go to different and see here shift arrow it just shifts between uh, shift ctrl t opens a new i can open several several shells 
and then I uh, press shift and arrow left left arrow and um, and you have several several consoles open this makes um, it makes it more pleasant to use uh, VI Uh, 95 percent 96 97 it's obviously uh, slower because in this machine I'm probably using just two CPUs I guess system advanced description oh and by the way another thing I do is shared clipboard bidirectional so I can copy and paste from my Windows machine to the into the vir virtual machine and vice versa this is going to take a while but Kt create is a is a great um, uh, ID for um, for C++